Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Barker Designs. I've got a really fun card for you that features all new products. I am using the Warmest Hearts Bundle from the 2023 uh, September to December mini catalog from Stampin' Up. It is a thermos slash water bottle set. Um, as I've said in my previous videos, my three teenagers carry around these giant hard, what I call tanks, They're <laughs> these water bottles called hydro flasks. And that's exactly what I thought about when I saw this. So that's kind of what we're doing today is we're creating these hydro flasks. They have a little handle on them, the little straw flips up. So um, on my blog, you'll find some other projects. I've made a flowered uh, water bottle. I've made a fall pumpkin thermos. And now we're going to make a Christmas Hydro Flask water bottle. I think it's fun. All right, so we're the only stamp we're really using this time is the sentiment. I've used the other stamps on the other projects, so make sure you check those out. But we're really gonna use these dies here. And we're gonna cut two of um, the actual water bottle out of um, Mossy Meadow and Cherry Cobbler. I also forgot to mention the paper that I'm using. This is called Shining Christmas, and hopefully you can see how it's shining. This is an online exclusive. You will not find it in any catalog. This is my favorite pattern. Um, it is pure Christmas, green and red. So if you're a traditional Christmas color girl like me, this paper is for you. Look at that, I love that one too. So we have five new papers actually online that are exclusively online and while supplies last. So make sure you jump on and grab this paper because it is absolutely gorgeous. I'll have it um, listed on the supply list on my blog if you need to find the, I the item number. All right, now the other things that we're gonna cut out, um, we're gonna cut out, so we're gonna need to use some adhesive sheets is what I'm trying to say. We're gonna cut this out from both Cherry Cobbler and um, Mossy Meadow, okay? Hopefully I'm not out of the frame. But then we're gonna cut out these little decoration, these little patterns, and these are really what need adhesive. Um, so I'm gonna take a piece, I've cut my adhesive sheet down, and I'm just gonna take a piece and put here on the end of the cherry cobbler, and I will trim that off. And then we'll cut the white, the diamonds from the white, we're gonna put an adhesive sheet on the back of that as well. Put that right there, cut that off. And then we're gonna cut out from this gorgeous, this is also online exclusive, silver and gold foil that has an adhesive back. We're going to cut the thermos lid and the little handheld, um, the handle for the water bottle, okay? Oh, one other thing, the top part of the water bottle. I don't know what part, what you call that. I'm sure it has a name. So let's bring over our cut and emboss machine and we'll get to cutting. All right, now these pieces will totally fit on the smaller mini cut and emboss machine. But if you have the larger machine, um, you can get a lot of the pieces fit to fit at one time. Now we're gonna have to run these through twice, some of them because we're using them twice, like these pieces. I mean, who doesn't want a thermos water bottle that has shiny glitter on it? I know I would love it. Okay, now let's run these through carefully. Okay, there's one set of things. We've got our thermos, we've got our grid decoration, we've got our diamond decoration. And then we need to cut these out too. These all need to be cut out twice. Now, if your little pieces stick like mine, just use your take your pick tool, pop that through, it'll come right out. And then we'll run that through again. And we need a mossy meadow water bottle as well. Okay, now I think we're ready to put it all together. Let's see. Now, again, if you're like me and you have nails, you might need a little help 
removing the adhesive backing. Of course, this backing just came right on off, which I love when that happens. We'll set that upside down. And if that's the case too, you can peel off the backing with your, take your pick tool like that, okay? Yeah, don't stick. All right, so let's see, we're gonna get that grid pattern right here. And let's pop all of those little doodads out. And let's see, maybe we, maybe they'll just come off when we peel it. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, one little guy hung around. Let's poke him out, there we go. All right, so we've put adhesive, an adhesive sheet piece on the back to make that a sticker. Now we've got our little top to our thermos and we'll peel that off. Okay, and put that right there. This paper already has the adhesive backing. I know it's a little bit confusing, but this paper already comes with the adhesive. And then we'll take our little, our water thingy, our handle thingy, and stick that like that, like it's going around to the back side. Okay, okay. Now let's do our cherry cobbler. I like this little diamond argyle pattern. Let's see if we can get that adhesive sheet to come off. Come on, sometimes you have to talk nicely to it. Come on, there we go. Oh my goodness, you're being stubborn. Okay, stick that there. And then we're gonna repeat with our top, our glittery top. and our hand or um, handle now i didn't want the handles to be exactly the same so i'm going to lean this one back like that whoops oh my it's going to be very stubborn today there we go so it looks like it's going around the back all right so we've got that and we've got this and let's get our doodads picked up and we are ready to put our cute little card together now I have a mossy meadow card base, like I had mentioned, and I've got a three by five and a fourth inch piece of my favorite pattern of that designer series paper, and we'll put that here. Now for the measurements, you guys, and the supply list, it'll be a free PDF on my blog, so don't worry. I know I always try to frantically write things down during a video, and then I lose them, so don't do that. Just go over to my blog and get that free PDF. All right, so this is a scalloped border from our basic border dies. And then I've got another strip of DSP. Hopefully it looks like it's a little bit too short, doesn't it? Let's trim this. It needs to be five and a fourth. You know, sometimes you just have to adjust on the fly as you go. I watch TV usually when I'm crafting, so my measurements aren't always right. Because <laughs> I'm watching TV. Okay, now I've also cut out two stylish shape stitched hearts from the, not stylish shape, Give It A Whirl dies. The Give It A Whirl dies are my most used die set. They are a fun um, set that creates a card that spins, but the other pieces in there are so good. Hearts, stars, I specifically like the hearts. I feel like I use the hearts on every project. Okay, we'll put these guys on here with dimensionals, kind of, kind of, you know, turned that way. And then I'm gonna stick the heart right there to the back of our lid. But I'm not gonna use the adhesive on that. I wanna pop these up. So I'm gonna put dimensionals right there in the middle. So you could even leave the backings on them, I guess, if you want. All right, we'll put that there and that there. Might need to go out a little bit more. This is a stylus shape. Nope, I keep calling everything stylus shape, don't I? Contour scallop dies, rectangle. Another die set I use, what seems like daily. All right, we're gonna put that right in the middle. And then last but not least, we're gonna stamp our sentiment on a piece of basic white in a cherry cobbler just right here and i just really want it to to frame the words okay so then grab your trimmer 
Mine is buried, of course. And just slice it off. You can see last week's project there. Slice it like that. Now you could, of course, cut the piece ahead of time and stamp it. These are photopolymer. You can see straight through them, so it makes it a little bit easier to stamp straight. So whichever you prefer. All right, and then we're just gonna put this right across like that. You warm my heart. How fun. Now look, if you wanna make this card not Christmassy, just change the colors and the, the designer series paper and this sentiment would go, you know, fall, winter, spring, whatever, even summer when we drink coffee. So just change the colors and it doesn't have to be a Christmas related card. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF, check out the other, the, I have four total Warmest Hearts projects and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.